Welcome to Delphi Labs. This is the second part uh, of a data snap life cycle of server methods episode. So in the previous uh, part uh, we have created a data snap uh, server application and data snap uh, client application. The server application uh, contains a, a server method, a DS server uh, component and a D DS server class uh, DS server class uh, component that represents a server methods class. It has a lifecycle property that we can uh, select to be of uh, different uh, types. So there are three different uh, possibilities here uh, session, server and invocation and I'm going to have three different uh, DS server class uh, components connected to my uh, server component demonstrating uh, different options uh, for uh, setting a lifecycle uh, property. So I'm going to rename this DS server class. Uh, first of all, actually, it's a good idea to uh, stop my server because it's still uh, running from the previous uh, presentation. And I, I have a, a session here, so I'm going to change the name of the server class to have something to do with session so I can easily actually identify uh, which is which. Okay, so now I have this uh, onGet class. So that's my uh, server methods uh, two. So actually what I'm going to do is I want to uh, actually uh, save this uh, server methods class and I, I'm going to have three different uh, server methods classes. So to make sure that I'm actually not lost, I'm going to rename this unit to server methods unit session. So I know that we are going to a session component. And also I'm going to change the name of this server methods to have something to do with session. So I'm going to refactor this method. So I'm going to the server methods session. So now I have uh, really uh, very quickly uh, can uh, have a different name. So let me see if uh, my project still compiles. Probably it does not because thing has changed. No, luckily uh, this is uh, now okay. So on my server container unit, so let me see it, it's here. Uh, I need to change this because I no longer want to use this server methods unit but I want to use my server session uh, unit uh, so now this is unknown so inside this there is a this unit there is this name of the class so I'm going to go ahead uh, to my container and uh, replace this with just the type of my server methods session this time okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, two more uh, server class components so I'm going to press F6, do a DS uh, server uh, class component and I'm going to actually copy and paste so I have uh, two of them. I like to organize in such a way that DS uh, server is in the middle, all my server class components are at the right side and all my transport components on the left side. So I'm going to rename this DS server class 1 uh, to something like DS server class server make sure that I have a lifecycle to server and I'm going to need to implement a, a on get class uh, event very shortly also I need to make sure that my server property is pointing to my uh, DS server component okay so I'm going to do the same thing for my second for my third uh, third and this is going to be invocation my server class is going to be called invocation I need to be connected to my uh, server component and on, on get class uh, event I need to specify a different uh, value. So I cannot reuse the same uh, type across uh, these different uh, DS server components. I need to really go ahead and uh, I'm going to actually do a, a little trick. I'm going to select all here, control C, so I can copy and paste. Now I'm going to add to my project, uh, I'm going to add a unit called uh, something like so it's very similar uh, server methods unit but it's going to be called server okay and I'm going to replace everything except for the name of the unit so I'm going to change it with a different name so I'm going to have this uh, session is going to be called uh, server and I need to change things here as well so I'm going to change even here and here and here so I have a completely different class uh, with exactly the same uh, functionality. I'm going to save it, I'm going to do uh, this trick one more time 
uh, add new uh, unit I'm going to uh, save this unit this time as an unit invocation invocation okay so my unit invocation and again I'm going to replace everything for the oh, I need to <laughs> copy this again so I'm going to select everything here copy go to my uh, invocation that is empty at this stage now I will have a very nice uh, server methods unit invocation so I need to take this invocation and also uh, replace in the name of my uh, class so I will have here invocation I'm going to have an invocation and I can even have a this like this so it's really uh, very nice so at this moment my server application contains three different uh, server methods classes and they provide exactly the same uh, functionality to providing a unique identifier and on the my container unit so that's my uh, container unit I need to also use these other uh, units that I have generated so use unit I'm going to use my invocation and my uh, server add to the implementation clause and now I need to implement this guy so uh, in my server get class I'm going to have a so this is my DES server server so this is going to my uh, server uh, here as well and the last one is going to be uh, invocation so I'm going to do a server methods invocation okay so that's uh, that's great and now I should see uh, that when I will be calling this uh, get ID methods from the client uh, I will have a different result so now uh, it's all implemented I need to make sure that my uh, project is uh, compiled and this when this is running so I need to go ahead and uh, run without debugging minimize it now in the client I need to modify uh, my client a little bit uh, because now uh, my client uh, the, the the server methods has changed so I have to uh, regenerate my uh, proxy so I need to make sure that I'm connection connected to my uh, SQL connection uh, SQL through the SQL connection to my data snap server and say uh, generate data snap uh, classes so something is wrong I probably need to uh, disconnect and reconnect again and now generate data snap classes so that's my new proxy I'm going to actually uh, see that the name of the unit has not changed but now for every server methods class I have a different uh, different uh, uh, proxy class with a different uh, get ID uh, method so now I'm going to change my uh, a little bit uh, my uh, user interface so I'm going to uh, rename this button to be a button a button and let's say uh, this is my uh, first maybe server a button server and get ID uh, maybe just get ID just server so we know exactly what you are talking about uh, label one is going to be called a uh, label uh, server uh, okay so I'm going to actually copy these two guys and copy and paste them so I have some more now I can change things so now these servers on the next is going to be a uh, session and also the name of the button will be a uh, button session like this and last one is going to be called button invo invocation going to copy this invocation and paste it here in, in, in the uh, caption uh, property okay invocation so now we have a label server and I'm going to have a label uh, session label session and now also label uh, going to be called label invocation invocation so now uh, if I uh, save it all uh, I have that's my uh, first uh, code so that has changed uh, so now it's no longer server methods uh, client but that's my server methods server that I need to instantiate and that's my uh, server and the label is now called label uh, server okay so that should be fine so I have two more of them so I have copied also the 
actually I need to uh, change so we, d we don't because currently all these uh, buttons are pointing to the same uh, event so I don't want this to be like this I want to generate a brand new event and I'm going to do the same thing for this other one so I don't want to have a server click event but I have want to have a, a new one so now I can basically just um, copy uh, this code and modify it a little bit so I'm going to copy the invocation code here uh, so I have my this my uh, server methods uh, invocation client I need to make sure that I instantiate uh, the right one and the label uh, invocation has to be uh, label invocation and I'm going to uh, copy this code again and I'm going to move it into the session so I have implementation for all the buttons so that's going to be my server methods session and I need to make sure that this is the right type and label uh, label session like this okay so now my uh, client is fully uh, implemented uh, I can just uh, run it and that's my uh, first client and I'm going to uh, run uh, one more uh, instance uh, so now I have uh, two clients uh, so uh, one next to each other okay let me call the server so we got uh, this uh, identifier so uh, if the server uh, is uh, if the server methods is um, it has a life cycle of server we are talking from different clients to exactly the same uh, instance so if I call this get ID again and again this does not change this is just one instance now if I call get session I get uh, different values for uh, different clients because for every uh, client connected there is a different session instance uh, created uh, in the server so if I click this again and uh, nothing is changing because it's still the same instance for invocation every time I press a button I will get a different instance because that's the uh, idea of invocation that uh, every time uh, you call it the, the server methods class uh, instance is uh, created on demand and destroyed after it's not needed okay thank you very much for watching this uh, Delphi Labs uh, data snap uh, lifecycle demo part 2